This is currently the most expensive residential listed property in the country. Welcome to Palazzo di Amore. Its listing price is $195 million, and this is Joyce Ray. And you're going to take me on a tour. I certainly am. 2010, I closed the highest sale in the United States, and that was at $50 million in 2010. Now we're seeing many sales at $100 million. On our tour, the music room is first. Isn't this spectacular? Wow. This is three times the size of my apartment. This is one of the family rooms. There's a mini Versailles in the backyard, and next to it, a vineyard. And to enjoy that wine... This is the upstairs wine tasting and wine cellar. This is my favorite, Cabernet. Meantime, a larger one downstairs that holds much more. There's also the formal dining room and a two-story entertainment complex separate from the house. Oh, and here we go. We're ready to dance. <laughs> With revolving dance floor, bowling alley, movie theater, and infinity pool. But Joyce tells me when it comes to buyers, the air up here is thin. Well, we get people from around the world coming to look. Um, because, of course, if you want a, a real estate that accommodates a large family, uh, there aren't many like this. But looking ahead, more luxury properties like this, over $100 million will be sold, says Christie's. Around the world in 2014, five went to new buyers in New York, Connecticut, France, and Hong Kong. If that doesn't sound like a lot, think again. These few went for more than $600 million in total.